Hi guys, uh, welcome to my first time doing all English quick fix. First, I would like to tell you what a quick fix video is. It's a quick, as you can tell from the name, video where I show you what you can do to a good or great figure to make it great or amazing. Those are very easy tips for people of all ages and skills, pretty much. Uh, anyone should be able to do those things I did. Now, we're looking at the Storm Collectible Street Fighter V Bison figure review here and you're wondering to yourself okay guy uh, what's different about this one well to tell you i've repainted all the metallic parts yeah painted and shaded it here with uh, three or four shades of whatever colors here and here and i've made the inner knee uh, in silver here is uh, still red uh, i've also made this uh, black part of this of his cap uh, glossy and his eyes are glossy and his teeth are glossy is that it no of course not it's not it it's not everything i've repainted this uh, these armor parts because i i've been doing i've been drilling some holes in them in these shoulder pads uh, i've drilled a hole here then i thought to myself if i was dumb i shouldn't have done this so yeah i had to repaint everything but why did i do it why did i need some holes well uh, this guy is a uh, Street Fighter V Bison. Uh, he's got a bit of a different costume than Bison in 2 and 3 and Alpha series and 4 and all the other Capcom, Capcom games. Uh, his coat is very long, as you can see, not something, something tie high. He's got silver hair instead of black. So, to make a version of Bison that is younger, it is very easy. You should A. Change the head. Or leave uh, that one, that, that head, but paint the hair black. So it's number one and number two. Bison comes with two of the of these skirt pieces. This one is the flared one. I love it. I didn't want to damage this one, so I had the other one cut. I cut it um, very, 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 very short. Uh, if you're asking yourself, isn't that too short? No, uh, I've studied some in-game screenshots from Alpha series and Street Fighter 4. Uh, Bison looks exactly like this one here in those games. Uh, wow, some b-boy po pose right there. It should be short, this coat, uh, it's, it's not a jacket, it's not a, it's not a trench coat, I mean. So yeah, that's it. That's my first tip on how to make this guy a classic figure. Yeah, and, and it really, 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 really well works. You can uh, switch the arms to his uh, standard arms. Ah, yeah. And as you can see, this is the bison all people love and cherish and... Uh, Right to uh, or almost he's almost as good as Ra Raul Julio was. Mm, yeah. Anyway, you can pose him whatever, however you want. Uh, like making his slide attack from Street Fighter Four and all these games really. Oh, black head, short coat. Um, but if you're extra, if you want to add something extra to your figure. You should also remember that Bison in some games likes to uh, have a cape, like in the Alpha series. So, I also have a cape for him. And the cape is the reason why I drilled holes into his shoulder pads. This cape is taken from Marvel Select uh, Disney exclusive Mighty Thor. Whew, that's a mouthful. Uh, he's got his uh, golden clasps here. They have magnets. One magnet in each two magnets in each shoulder pad it attaches really easily stays there uh, of course if I do this it will fall because this cape is uh, heavy it's really heavy but Bison is a mighty figure he can uh, take it on him, onto himself to stand still with the cape <laughs> and he looks magnificent I think it's great I really love how this looks um, if you want to see some cool photos I took, go to my Facebook, Shinigami Customs. I have um, some pics with uh, Bison in his battle stance from three different games, from 
uh, Street Fighter 4, 5 and Alpha 3. You can go check it and then try to look for some in-game screenshots and compare it. That's that. And I also will go back to these hands because I really, I really, really love those crossed arms. I also love them um, on my Dragon Ball figures. I would really wish that any Dragon Ball figure should come with those. I would have all of them like this on the shelf with Bison. And all other figures, all other figures that are produced should also come with arms like these. I would love them all. Yeah, that's about it. I think he looks really great. And while I really, really love Bison's uh, design in Street Fighter V, I will have a hard, die, hard time not displaying him like this on my shelf. Please let me know how how do you like it, which one is better, so this classic or the current modern Bison. Please leave a thumbs up and some comments below. Uh, also, you can check out those things that are popping up on your screen, so uh, video review chosen by YouTube for you. My Patronite, you could give me some money. It's like Patreon, but Polish. <laughs> subscribe to me, subscribe to Kadr Dziwok, which is a Polish podcast. You can subscribe, you will not understand anything, but you could subscribe. Yeah, and that's about it. Again, thanks guys.